day today with the McCormick. Uh, Dad and Pop has been saying that this thing was having trouble with the speedometer not working. Uh, they've told me that it worked and it quit working. And they've told me it didn't work right, but it uh, kind of took it that it was working. And then they've told me it didn't work at all. Uh, all different stories. So I brought, I'm going to use this thing today and actually see what's going on with it. But I wanted to. Everybody's always giving me a hard time because I call this thing a case and not a McCormick. The reason why I refer to this tractor as a case international is because it's a case international design. And I don't know if y'all can see it, but right there it says made in France by Case France. Right there. The plate on the outside of the tractor says the same thing as well. It's a Case France tractor. It was built by Case. It's a Case design. So technically, even though it, it's a McCormick tractor, it's a Case age. I mean, the design was Case. The tractor was built by Case. It's Case. I mean, that's just what it is. Um, not poking it not, not, I don't want to make nobody mad I'm just telling y'all that's why I refer to it as a case technically this tractor is more of a case international than the McCormick's being built today uh, the McCormick's being built today are a Argo tractor or Landini basically uh, McCormick they're actually a McCormick branded tractor this was actually a case international tractor branded McCormick clarify why I always call it the Case International. That's because really that's what it is. It's not really a McCormick. It's actually a Case International tractor. It was built by Case and it was a Case design. And I know somebody's going to get upset with me because of saying that, but I mean it, it's what it is. I mean the 4610 I had, Massey we had, uh, It is nothing but a, uh, I think, oh shit. Well, I engaged the PTO and it didn't act like it wanted to take off right and I just drove about, uh, I'd say 60 feet and the PTO stopped turning. I had no idea What is going on here? Because I've already fluffed hay with this thing earlier and it worked perfectly fine. Now it's not wanting to run right. I have no clue what's going on right now. I hope it's not what I think it is. Because in order for that thing to stop, it nearly had to be clutches somehow. But now it's turning. It literally quit spinning on me just a few minutes ago. It's got 2,900 hours on it now, if y'all are wondering. Uh, we've actually put quite a few hours on it this year. Uh, most hours we've put on it in one year in a long time since we've been mowing hay with it. Maybe it'll keep pulling. I, I don't, that's kind of worrying me now. Uh, that's a whole lot worse than a tachometer not working. I don't know what the heck that is, but anyway. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I, I'm hoping I'll get done. Whatever. I ain't, I ain't gonna let it make my day bad. But...
many folks can talk this talk Let alone show up and walk the walk Grab a hold of that rope Put a hand in the air Or strap a guitar on Most folks jump off when times get tough But you don't get this way from backing up Not everyone can hang on tight But a cowboy can A cowboy can A real cowboy will Turn his collar up high With his back to the wind And slang that saddle on again Folks might try to look the part But we don't do this just for fun It's every part of who I am I've got no quit running through my veins It ain't an easy way to make a buck But at the end of the day A cowboy can, a real cowboy will Turn his collar up high with his back to the wind And slang that saddle on again Mouse.